I have an appeal to you who say that you are Christians. Now this word, Christian, that you seem to be so adherent to, although not really fully understanding the gospel of Christ, it is clear that you completely ignore the words of Christ in order to believe the way that you believe. The things that I'm speaking of are revealing the true words of Christ, that as people believe these things, there is division amongst their household. For he said, for in the house there will be division. He said he did not come to bring peace, but he came to bring the sword. And this is what we are seeing today, because the condition and the prophecy is taking place because these things are being revealed to the Father's anointed. Now, Christians, you believe that Satan does not run this earth, but yet it is Satan on the mountain tempting Christ in the wilderness that offered him the entire earth and all that is within it as long as he would bow down and serve him. Now, how could he offer such a thing if he didn't control it, if he hadn't taken possession of it? Now, you say that I say that God is Lucifer. This isn't the case at all. I'm only saying he is your God, and you are honoring and worshiping Lucifer without even knowing it. Just as Christ was saying that your father is Satan, and they hated him for it. And this is why he said, before me, they knew no sin. But now that I've revealed these things to them, they have no cloak. You cannot hide it anymore. And this is why the anger comes out. And this is why you're attacking, exhibiting the very natures that Christ said not to. You're so concerned that someone like me could lead astray, but yet you have no concept of your own doctrine, your own indoctrination. You have no concept because you have convinced the world that once saved is always saved. And your own words and your own teachings are testifying against you. Because if once saved, always saved, why are you concerned that I'm leading some astray, that they're going to take them right to hell, that the things that I'm saying can take somebody that is already saved to hell, if they're already saved? And why would the scriptures warn of this deception if being saved was already granted to you? And it speaks of this by saying the elect, that they might even deceive the elect. My words are to you that they've already been deceived. And those that have bowed down and serve Lucifer are in the political offices and are in the power structures of this world today. Now I'll read to you from Psalms and I'm gonna read direct so no one can say that I'm not reading from the word. This is the reign of the Lord's anointed. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us burst their bonds apart from us and cast away their cords from us, just as you're attempting to do to me. I don't hate you for these things. I feel such pain and such sorrow that you have been so deceived that you failed to understand the attributes of God and the attributes of Satan. You failed to hear that the scriptures said that Satan has exalted himself on high, calling himself God and placing himself on the throne. So if he calls himself God, 
and throughout all of the scriptures. How could you possibly know which one is his unless you fully grasp the attributes of God and fully grasp the attributes of Satan? And only through those attributes can you judge those two by their fruit, just as Christ commanded, yet you completely ignore. You have to willfully forget and ignore 90% of what Christ said in order to maintain the doctrines and your actions. I'll continue to read. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, you are my son today, I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. Now this is the father in these times taking back possession of what is his because he sent his anointed to do just that. And his anointed isn't a single man. It is a body of Christ, just as Christ explained when he said, it will be as though the lightning strikes in the east and shines in the west. That means big. And he is so big and it is happening as we speak and families are being divided. They are being called crazy when they are awakened to these truths, just as Christ was called crazy by his own family. And I'll continue. As he says of his anointed, and you shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. This is why it's painful. And this is also why Christ referred and said, do you see all of these things? And he's speaking of the temples built, the manifestation of a physical item made by the hands of God, that man, made by the hands of man, that man has now set as God's, and it's this physical temple. The temple is what you know in your soul, what you have built in your soul. And so when he said, do you see all of these things? Not one stone will not be thrown away. And this is the pain that you feel. I beg of you to go back to your scriptures. Read the words of Christ. I am not saying anything different than what he said, yet all you hear because the limit of your understanding is what you believe to be true because you've been taught these things. You've never allowed the Father to teach you. You didn't do the first command. You didn't seek the Father first because if you had, you would know his attributes and then you would have understood the words that you were hearing was speaking of somebody very different than him because there are two attributes to God. First, be in love. And the second is one that you haven't grasped yet. And I'll leave it for you to find out. Because when you do and you understand that all things created by God, all of them, the creator of all, created all things with two sides. And you are here as a test, a refinement by fire. And you're failing. You're failing and I'm begging you to wake up. I'm begging you. I don't get upset by your words and attacks because I know what's coming. I expect them. And I beg you to hear my words because time is getting awfully short. <laughs>